What's up, everybody? Welcome to my new Let's Play of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 4 for PlayStation 3, Xbox, and Steam. And, uh, yeah. Here we are. Playing Sonic the Hedgehog 4. This is a sequel of 3 and Knuckles and the other two other games. But uh, this one's modern. So. And, uh, this was released in 2010. And uh, also on uh, Androids, too. Forgot about that. Uh, I remember playing this on Androids like uh, years ago, uh, beating the game actually. And I haven't played the game since until well, here we are now. I bought the game last year on Steam, so same with uh, Episode Two, which uh, I will also do right after this. So of course, and um. I heard mixed opinions about this game. Um, not as many, but a good amount. Uh, basically, basically by watching videos, that uh, this game is somewhat controversial. Or honestly, I really don't know why this, why this game is controversial. I really don't know. Like, I don't know the honest answer for that. I mean, this place like. Sonic 1, 2, and 3, and Knuckles, but modern. I mean, this is the Sonic you know, and you're familiar with. So, I don't really get the controversial of this game. You know, the ramp, you know. I mean, it's totally unnecessary, and it's pretty dumb, if I'm gonna be honest. This game did not deserve this much hate because of... Because it's different. Somehow this is really play like the other game. It's another dumb reason to hate on a game. Because I like this game as a whole. Not my favorite Sonic game, but uh, I do like this game though. And I was taking my time uh, trying to get the special stage or get a giant ring because uh, you don't want to go too fast, otherwise you'll pretty much missed out on uh, getting a Chaos Emerald, which is optional, just like the classic games. And, uh, special stages are different, where, uh, well, this is uh, Sonic once, but uh, besides controlling Sonic, you're controlling the whole stage. I kind of find this more easier than controlling Sonic. I don't know, like, I feel it's like easier, and uh, there's also a time limit too, so that was not in the original Sonic one. The background I actually kind of like. There's no fishes or starfish, I, I don't remember what the backgrounds were in the original special stage of Sonic 1. It's been, it's been forever since I played the original. Now you gotta collect rings to open the gates. That, that way you can uh, continue on. But overall, this is still the same special stage that you know from Sonic 1. Oh man, I almost messed up right there. Holy crap. There we go. Continue uh, life because uh, just like the classic games, I like that a lot. And the level we're playing is well based around Green Hill, but uh, this time we got vines. But, uh, that was not the Sonic one. So you basically just hold me attack on the vine and uh, swing back and forth. That way, that way you get a good momentum. I've heard people say that momentum's not that good, which honestly I don't believe that because yeah, it's different, but like at least we're going somewhere. And I, I'm pretty sure the momentum in this game is pretty solid, as long as you're doing it right. That then uh, you have a fun time. I 
I like the music in this game, though. Dude, especially Splash Hill Zone. Uh, I, I think I, I kind of... I, uh, bleh, I can't wait for the third zone. I keep getting hit a lot. I'm trying to get enough rings so I can play another special stage. That's why I'm struggling. But uh, the music I like, especially Splash Hill, the third zone. Uh, that one's actually pretty catchy. Slightly. God dang it. I mean, there's plenty of rings for me to get, so there's no big deal. And we got power-ups, just like the classic games. We got the speed shoot, disability, and shield. So. And just like Sonic 1 and 2 and 3. Plays pretty much like those games. But, you know, modern. I really like how Sonic runs in this game. I don't know why, but I just kind of like how he runs. This game is not really hard, really. It's really not. Well, maybe the special stage will get harder later on, but, uh... The game... Nah, not really. You'll have an easier time. And fun time, too. And the bosses are also a cakewalk, if I'm gonna be honest. Which I am totally fine with that, because I do not care. I don't really play this game too much, but, uh... But whatever. I mean, I'll slightly play Episode 2 over Episode 1. That's for sure. Now the backwards all blue and mixed with yellow and green. Okay then. And, uh, don't, and uh, don't worry, there are these uh, timers that you can get to add more of your time before well, you get kicked out of the special stage, so... See right there, 10 seconds adds up more to your time. So be sure to get those as best you can. This, I actually, my head, like, it was kind of nerve wracking, but uh, I guess now playing this again doesn't really affect me as much. I think, I guess I just had a headache that day when I first played this, when I played the special stage, so. There we go. Got two Chaos Emeralds, so. We should be able to get these Chaos Emeralds in no time. Sunset Dash. This is the OST music I like of uh, Splash Hill. Here we got those uh, like these zip lines that you only attack you go much faster. And there's also dash pads. I don't, I don't think I ever paid attention to how many dash pads we ran into. Uh, yeah, that's the, that's the other thing people complain is that there's too many dash pads, which honestly, I mean, it's kind of, I mean, that's kind of the whole point is keep going fast. That's why they're everywhere. And especially in episode two, they're like everywhere, which I'm I'm totally fine with because I like going fast in Sonic. So but I still don't know why people do not like this game. Okay, not everyone, but only like a good amount that doesn't like this game. I don't get it. This game is pretty solid. Play is this game is playable. That's what's important. And I don't know what's wrong with this game. I really don't get it. This game is pretty fun. Game in episode 2. Yeah, 
most enemies with uh, three and knuckles. Uh, Marble, Marble Garden Zone. I remember those guys. I never, I never knew their names though. And I like how they they actually brought back proper badnets in this game. I mean, they haven't been like gone in years, but like, I mean, they were in games like Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure Two. I, I think that's it. I, I'm pretty sure they made other appearances. I can't remember, but yeah. I mean, this game came out in 2010, so at that time, it's been a while since we had a classic Sonic game. So this is pretty much a refresher of those games, and that's why the game is called Sonic 4. I mean, if this game was called something else. I'm not sure what that would be like. I don't think it will make any difference. The game will still be the same, so. Just gotta get enough, get enough rings to uh, get through the special stage as fast as you can. So it's a little hassle, but you should get used to it. Cause I had a, I had an easier time playing these. We are third chaos. Emerald. There we go. I seem to get a, a lot of extra lives very often, which I don't really need. I mean, I could beat this game without lives, so. But hey, whatever. And you may have noticed that we play four acts. So, I mean, the fourth act is uh, going against Eggman. And uh, if you recognize this music, this music was actually from Sonic Beat Blast, the unused music of uh, Eight Man's boss fight. So, because I actually did Sonic Duty Blast of last year, so. I don't remember if I mentioned the unused music when I. Uh, I think the music was in Spring Yard Zone, I believe. So. There we go, got an achievement. Now that was part one. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in part two.